Take a journey through my head. While you travel down the longest pathway and you're almost at the end, way in the back, past my various thoughts and memories, you'll find a box filled with a million tiny feelings for you. You'll know it the moment you see it, it'll have your name on it engraved in gold lettering. Cherish this box, protect it, keep it in your heart or in your head. If you wish, open it up or keep it locked forever. Once you find it, it's yours to keep. But remember, I am its original owner and that means I am its owner forever because I kept the self-destruct button in case something bad happens to it. I've had multiple boxes before and I've pushed the self-destruct button one too many times, but that's what the instructions manual said. In case of mistreatment, discard right away, do not attempt to fix the box due to danger from prolonged exposure to betrayal and worthless apologies. Some go rid of the box right away, not caring about the million tiny sparks that lived inside it. Others put it in a safe and throw away the key, not caring whether the sparks needed to be set free or if they needed air to breathe. But each and every one of them earned the right to keep the box even for a little while because they made it through the journey in my head. They made it past the sand dunes of my scattered thoughts, the tropical jungle of my emotions, and the ocean of my hopes, dreams, and aspirations. The journey was tough, but the destination was redeeming, because at the very end of their hardship, all of them won a very special prize, you see. The sweetness of love and kindness and infinite forgiveness and playfulness and love and kindness and forgiveness and playfulness and love and kindness and forgiveness and playfulness and love and kindness and forgiveness and playfulness, but the end it was all too much. They threw away the box that I made for them. I built the box and I wrote their name in gold letters and the million tiny sparks came from my heart. But in the end, it was all for nothing. Oh, at this point, I should clear something out for you. If you do not wish to keep the box, then that is completely understandable. Put it back where you found it for the next trouble to come upon it. But I do have a question. Why make such a difficult journey just to give up when you've reached a destination? Because I've always been curious as to why people only see themselves as people and do not see other people as people. Because how close do you have to be to one person to stop caring about their well-being? When do feelings stop being feelings and they become equal to pieces of confetti meant to scatter around in the air and to dance around and only to be stepped on and pushed around after the celebration is over? What happens if I stop making the boxes? What happens if I lock the entrance to my head forever? Warning, keep out, area under reconstruction. Because the area needs to be reconstructed. The sand dunes need to be reformed, the jungle replanted, and the ocean refilled with water. And all that can happen by either a scratch or a deep wound. Because my feelings do not need to be annihilated in order to be hurt. One tiny scratch can do the job. So be careful when you make your choice because the path has three ways and this time all of them are shortcuts. Choose and pick. Pick and choose. The choice is only yours to make as the box was yours to keep. I see you've made your choice. Well. Self-destruction, leave me alone, will commence. I, I'm tired of you, I can't do this anymore. Three, say goodbye to all the sparks they lived and breathed for you and now you abandon them like that. Two, get out, get out, just get out. One, you won't hear from me again.